Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about why people smoke cigarettes, okay? Well, primarily because they want to look cool, right? Not necessarily. Maybe that was the original reason, but there's some other reasons. Why would someone want to smoke cigarettes when it has 4,000 chemicals? It has 42 known carcinogens. Those are things that cause cancer. Carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, cyanide, arsenic, DDT, cadmium, benzene, fungicides. Why would anyone smoke? Well, primarily because it creates relaxation, sharpness, more alertness, and calmness, okay? So it's, it's really the, the addictive nicotine, okay? Nicotine is a very calming effect on the body. It's a vasodilator. It relaxes the body. So nicotine is very, very, very addicting, and it creates these positive effects, but it comes with a package of all these harmful things right here. It's interesting, if you were to take the nicotine patch or take consume nicotine, it does not cause cancer. It doesn't. It's these chemicals that cause cancer. So yeah, the patch, the vapor um, cigarette is way, way better, okay? Now, the way that nicotine works is that it stimulates part of the nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system. And I want to talk about that. You have two parts of the nervous system. Well, actually, there's three, but there's really two that we're going to talk about. The sympathetic nervous system, that's the flight or fight. That's the stress mode. And then you have the parasympathetic, and that's more rest and digest. Okay, flight or fight, rest and digest. So it's a calming, relaxing nervous system that also, you know, just chills you out and helps you focus too. Um, so the parasympathetic nervous system is stimulated by nicotine. The problem is nicotine is very, very, very addictive. Um, so when someone stops taking nicotine, what happens is you have all sorts of things that happen with the parasympathetic nervous system. That thing shuts down. You no longer feel relaxed. You no longer feel sharp. You feel irritated and go through all sorts of withdrawals for about two weeks um, or longer. So my suggestion, now that you understand what we're doing here, is at least switch to the patch or the vapor cigarette, okay? That's number one. Number two, to eventually come off nicotine because even though it's, it doesn't have any effects of causing cancer, it's just highly addictive and it can wear out the adrenals and the system over a period of time, okay? Because you need more and more. It's like a drug. Um, there are several things that you can do to to create this effect by stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system, okay? One is uh, taking adaptogens. Those are like ashwagandha, certain herbs that actually calm the nervous system down and actually trigger the parasympathetics. Potassium is also the mineral that improves the parasympathetic because it's calming. That's why it helps you sleep. Black tea, believe it or not, helps stimulate the parasympathetic. Also green tea as well, but you're going to have to have it decaffeinated. Uh, B1, vitamin B1 also improves the parasympathetic nervous system. Interesting. And walking as far as an exercise like calm, lots of oxygen, low stress exercise uh, or yoga would be really good to trigger this system. All right? So I just wanted to kind of give you a background of why people really smoke. They're trying to get some relief with stress, but why not just improve this another way, okay? without this stuff right here because it comes with a package. All right, put your comments below and let me know what you think.